Hi Stampers! I'm really excited to show you this new project kit that we have in our new catalog and it's called For the Love of Felt Project Kit and you can also purchase the stamp set that coordinates with it or you can use your own stamp set but this works really good everything is designed so it fits with the felt flowers that you get with this. It's got the swirl and it has Let's Celebrate so very thankful and you make it ordinary day special so it's really a great value as far as you get those sayings and then let me show you what's in the kit so this is it's showing you here on the page what you're going to need is calypso coral daffodil delight pear pizzazz sahara sand and shaded spruce you'll need some snips and your multi-colored glue and some adhesive and some dimensionals so that's all I need to, to actually complete these cards. In the kit, it comes in this box and you have your instructions and you're going to make 12 cards. So you have four, three designs, four of each. So it has the colored photo right here and we're going to actually make this one. So here's the box. It actually is a cardstock, but it's also got a sheen to it. So all the items are in here to go ahead and stamp and also your embellishments. So this is one of the other samples that I've already done and it's got the Sahara sand in there. And this are, these are the awesome little cute envelopes that you have with them too. They coordinate beautifully. They have white inside and the Sahara sand on the back. So love the felt flowers. One more, there's the other one that we've got here. And then this is the one I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these. It already has some of these items already printed on there for you. And then I'm going to take our vellum, which comes with it too. And if you look at this, it says the hum of a honeybee and blissful uh, aim in the trees. So anyway, there's all things about flowers and things like that. And so I'm going to look at my instructions here and it will show that I need two of these flowers, two of these felt flowers, and they just punch out. And then I'm going to use, there's these that have three leaves and these that have five. And it looks like I'm going to need one, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to use five of these, one, two, and these you just punch out, three, four, five. I went ahead and grabbed three of the little, punched out the little yellow ones, and two of the green leaves, and one of each of these felt flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my sane first, because then I'll know exactly where it needs to go and I can stamp around it. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it up a little bit. So I'm so very thankful. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the edging around which is out of pear pizzazz in the greenery. Now I'm just copying exactly what they have here. You can get creative and do your own thing if you like, but I'm just going to head and doing it just like they say. That's the fun thing about Stampin' Up! is you can go ahead and change it if you want to or use the same exact. So that fills that in. So then I'm going to go ahead and start with my fixing my flowers. And I noticed that we went ahead and took this flower and I'm going to do the Daffodil Delight in the yellow first because I'm going to go ahead and stamp it in the orange next and so you can go ahead and use your lighter color first and then without even cleaning it you can go right to your clips of coral. I just blotted it off a little bit and I'm just going to go ahead and ink this and do my clips of coral over here. So I'm looking at this right here and you notice how it's going and it tells you step by step exactly where to go. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead, because of placement, I want to go ahead and put these on right away. 
because then I can find out what I want. And I'm you don't have to put dimensionals on these, but I kind of like them to pop up even more. So if you're mailing them or not mailing them, you can decide which way you want to go. I'm going to kind of eyeball it. I want it to not take up the whole thing. Kind of keep on showing some of the other flower there. Okay, now I'm going to just take these little ones and, and just put a little bit of adhesive on the edge because I'm just going to stick these inside like this. But you know what? Before that, I should actually do the greenery. Okay, so I'm going to stick some on just the very edge and take the greenery, lay that down. And then this little leaf here, the same thing, because it's going to be covered up by the yellow flower, so it really doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to slide that in. See, it's covering it right up. The same thing with this. I'm going to go ahead and take my greenery just on the little tip of the edge, slide it under the flower. Same thing with this other green leaf. Just slide it under the flower. And so it gives it that, you know, extra boost. And I'm just going to take both of these and just, I went ahead and tore them apart. And I'm just going to go ahead and put one here sticking on my grid sheet and one here and it will stick better if you use your dimensional so I'm going to put the dimensional on there and go ahead and put that there so you can see how cute that is with all the things that are going on now one more up here and these are so much fun because they're all the sewing's done and you just pop them out and we're going to go ahead and put another yellow flower over on this side so you can decide how to arrange these I'm just kind of copying what they had but it's just super simple and let's put one more yellow flower up here and a tip if you want to when you're doing this if you go ahead and get all your pieces out before you start then you've got everything right there for you when you get all the pieces so so they go to bed together really fast so i'm just doing the two little leaves right here sticking my little flower right there and voila we've got our greenery isn't that cute love it super simple okay and all we do is we put the vellum on our card and it's just very subtle background and then you can, I'm just putting some adhesive on this and putting it right on the card. Love the Sahara sound. So there's our card. So super simple cards that you can make with this kit, this project kit. It makes 12 cards. So hope you've enjoyed learning how to use some of our project kits that create so many beautiful things. Go to stampandjill.com if you'd like to purchase this kit. Hope you've enjoyed our Watch It Weekly Wednesday and see you next time.